The racially motivated massacre in Buffalo is having a deep impact on Toronto's black community. It may have happened in a different country, but it still hits too close to home, with many expressing grief, anger, and fear. You know, they live stream some of it to see the man pointing at the white guy saying, oh, apologies, and then continuing going on and just looking for black people to shoot. It, it, it's, um, I feel angry, I feel hurt, terrified. It's been difficult for many here in Toronto watching this heinous hate crime unfold less than two hours from their doorstep. Shermaine Morgan's teenage son was traveling through the northeastern U.S. when the rampage happened. They had a, a tournament, a way tournament in the States, and it was just sheer panic. Like, where is he? Where are they right now? Thankfully, her son was nowhere near the shooting, but Shermaine tells me a racially motivated attack like this hits close to home, no matter where you live. As a parent, all you want to do is protect your child. And how do you protect them from this? The first thing that goes through your head is, here we go again, it's happening. Trisha's husband has family living in the East Buffalo neighborhood who regularly shop at that supermarket. She tells me they were frantically trying to track them down. It was so close. Minutes before we could have had anybody in that store that was like family going through this experience. It was like really devastating to hear what was happening and unsettling. And Trisha says you don't need a connection to Buffalo to be deeply impacted by this massacre, telling me friends and family here in Toronto are feeling overwhelmingly triggered. Well, I have to caution my son or my children or my family from going to places where it's predominantly black, just in case. Like, it just impacts the community spirit. Everybody's worried. You want to keep your, your kids at home. You want to keep them isolated. This re rehashes the um, Black experience, our community, the sad experience that we experience every day. And Canada is not immune to these racially motivated attacks. Five years ago, six people were shot dead in a Quebec City mosque. And less than a year ago, a Muslim family from London, Ontario, was run down by a car and killed in another hate-motivated crime. One thing both Charmaine and Trisha find troubling is that there were so many red flags leading up to this, yet the shooter was still able to carry out his rampage. Racism exists everywhere everywhere it is here in canada it is in the, it is everywhere we have to look at this and play a role we're looking for allies to play a role you can make a difference if you see something you hear something that's unsettling say something and do something these people were just buying groceries for their family and because of the color of their skin they're now dead shauna hunt city news